Hey guys, uh, thanks for checking out the very first episode of Jimmy Eats Vegas video reviews. Uh, welcome to the brand new YouTube channel, Jimmy Eats Vegas. Um, this is my friend Matt. Hello. Uh, we are both very happy to bring you the first of hopefully many video reviews. And today we checked out Burger Bar at Mandalay Place. I've been coming here for years, but it's been so long since my last visit that it feels like a completely new restaurant. So. Uh, I actually first came here when I was obsessed with the Top Chef, uh, Top Chef Vegas season, and this chef is like one of the guys who was like affiliated with the Top Chef at the time, so I was so excited back then. But now, I actually know what I'm talking about when it comes to food, so I felt like I could do a legit review of this place. I usually don't go to casinos for all my meals just because they're really expensive, they're far away from where I live, but sometimes you're just in the area, um, you're visiting friends who are staying at the casinos, or you have a comp, or whatever, and sometimes the food is just good enough that it warrants it. Um, I'm not 100% sure this place really qualifies in that, but, you know, today is just like the kind of thing where every once in a while you gotta try it, because you really can't trust anyone's opinion but your own. Very true. I'd say that's the first thing I learned coming here when I had a car, was that it just like made all of the other casino restaurants so much less valuable. Right, like yeah. Everything that's off strip is just, like, so good. But, right. like you said, comps, friends, it happens. Right, so I mean, just worth feasibility. checking a few of them out. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, like, the place is fine. Burgers are the kind of thing where, like, every, every, strip, every strip casino that you go to is going to have the same basic places. They're going to have a steakhouse. They're going to have a buffet. They're going to have a burger place. They're going to have some sort of seafood place and whatever, like three or four other things. And burgers, honestly, are one of the most popular um, uh, requests that I get to do. People are obsessed with really good burgers. And I think a lot of that uh, comes from people who are overseas, especially because like they don't get, you know, the meat mm -hmm. here is just way higher quality yeah, yeah, and they yeah. love really good American burgers. But uh, I don't know, I really feel like especially at strip places, they have different goals. Like, they want to make a non-offensive burger rather than make one that's, like, really good. Whereas off the strip, you're going to get places that are really trying to make a fantastic burger. Yeah. I mean, the place that I'm going to have to end up comparing this place to is Bocce Burger. And if you read my review on Bocce Burger, it's definitely one of my favorite burger burgers that I've ever had, bar none. Um, so it's kind of got a big bar that this place is comparing to. Um, not to mention, we have some fantastic burgers here, just in the, you know, the form of In-N-Out or Shake Shack, or, which will definitely Are be a review I have to do. Reasonable yeah, reason burgers yeah. at quick and easy. Right. And there's tons and tons <coughs> locations of locations. and prices. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's, they're just, they're just high quality burgers. <laughs> so, uh, Burger Bar, uh, we got, um, four items today, I guess. We, it's lunch, so we didn't get a milkshake, but maybe maybe we'll come Next back time. for another... Maybe we'll come back <laughs> and get a milkshake just to try it. We'll PS uh, with a milkshake from right. an undisclosed location. Right, exactly. If the milkshake's good enough to do another review on, you'll get another review. Um, but, uh, okay, so we each got a burger, and we each got, uh, we each got a side. Um, first up, whenever I go to a place like this that serves like a classic piece of American food... I always have to get the most basic version of that just to see like what the chef thinks of the the actual like basic food type and because I want to know if they're going to do the basic things right. I want to know how good the buns are. I want to go know how well they season the meat. I want to know if they put any effort into act in the, the actual basic device because if they don't then it doesn't matter how much avocado or fancy sauce they put on it, it's not going to save it. Exactly. Um, and if those are the reasons that it's really good, then I can say that. But the basic version needs to be good. It's true for pizza, it's true for burgers, it's true for steak, whatever. Donuts. Right. And, and basically anything. Like, all, all the classic American food. I think having the basic version be a part of the review is an important thing. Absolutely. Uh, and then we, uh, so yeah, their, their basic American burger uh, was pretty basic. Um, I feel like it definitely suffered from being in a casino because they wanted to make it as inoffensive as possible. 
Um, one thing that I've noticed, and this is a big pet peeve of mine, and it's maybe a little bit ageist of me, uh, I feel like a lot of these casino restaurants are really, really light on the salt. They do not want to offend people who are sensitive to salt, which tend to be older people. Yeah. Um, and that was the big problem with almost everything that we ate today. I would agree. If they put woefully under seasoned, if they doubled the salt content they put into some of these things, it would have been way better. Yes. You know, and I don't, I don't generally eat like super processed food where they like throw a bunch of salt in things. So when I go to a restaurant, you know, use salt. It's you know, wars have been fought over salt. Act yeah. like it. <laughs> you know, that's that is my motto these days because. When you go to these casino restaurants, they're so scared of oversalting things that they just under-season things to the point that you can barely taste it. When you have a burger, like beef, especially ground beef, absorbs a lot of salt. Yes. You know, you've got a, these were thick patties, fairly thick. I'd say thicker than average. Thicker than average, especially on yeah. my burger. They weren't especially good or uh, big burgers themselves, but the patties were quite big. Were thick. And they weren't seasoned very well. They had decent sears on them, but not enough to create so much flavor that you forgot there wasn't salt. Yes. Uh, and the toppings, you know, like I said, I get I get basic toppings, but the toppings need to be good, and they just weren't. Yeah. You know, the the lettuce was like anemic. Um, the tomato was not inedibly. Good. Yeah. I mean, it's mealy. it's Vegas, and you're not going to get pro- good produce in yeah. Vegas generally. But it's like it just yeah, it was mealy and not seasoned either and it just wasn't it just wasn't I mean bad. we are here to be picky it's a bad tomato it was it a very bad tomato yeah it was just a bad tomato <laughs> like what, what else can I say um the, the onions were like yeah cut really thin just kind of bleh uh, the cheese is fine yeah and it's cheddar cheese whatever um it didn't save if the I, burger if I could say I to put it maybe in perspective if I had gotten that burger at somebody's backyard barbecue I would say this person cared about serving me a good burger. Right, exactly. But the second I step into a restaurant that has burger in the name that I paid for, now I'm a little underwhelmed. Right, exactly. Not yeah. bad, good, whatever, it's but ba- underwhelming. It's bad when you go to into a casino restaurant and compare it to a backyard burger. That's the I, thing. I literally had a backyard burger yesterday at a barbecue, Yeah. and that burger was pretty much the exact same quality as this yeah. burger, and... I didn't pay a cent for that burger. Exactly. And you're like, oh, thanks, man. That was a good burger. Yeah, exactly. Appreciate the hospitality. I mean, I wouldn't mind going to Hubert Keller's, like, backyard barbecue if yeah. you're serving these quality burgers. Yeah, but exactly. I don't want to pay, you know, X dollars for the same, like, I don't know. It just Agree. Yeah. This not didn't, didn't start the meal off great. And I have to say, um, you know, portion size... Uh, isn't like my biggest pet peeve because we eat a lot of fucking food here and I am a very fat individual but they weren't the biggest burgers like the 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 uh the the fry and the burger portions um you know for the price it just it's it's really hard to be too satisfied from it yeah it was lunch so it was a little bit more reasonable absolutely but I cannot imagine they serve them that much bigger if it if they're if they're dinner size there there's no way it's a different size for dinner I would say yeah yeah, price considered, it was not big. Right. So, uh, Matt's burger was what they call the baguette burger, um, which, it's kind of funny to me, like, how often do you get a burger where it's named after the bread it comes on? You know? Not too often. Right. That's pretty, that's pretty strange, I feel like. Um, they have a bunch of, like, uh, different burger types, you know, classic burgers or or chefs chefs uh, designs, and then they have a make your own burger thing. But to me, the best idea, like you can always mess up and like pick two things that don't go together if you get like, you know, certain toppings on like a menu. But if you get something that the chef has recommended, the burger should work. You know, the flavor profile right. should be there. Right. You know that if someone actually spent time saying that this should contain this topping but not this topping that it should be a good burger yeah. and i will say the ingredients on the baguette burger i think it comes with uh it came with brie arugula and, and truffle, truffle mayo, mayo. it yeah. was good it was simple those were tasty yes yes they were tasty it was very it was much richer yeah like there's no oh I, that's something we didn't really bring up on the uh, on the classic burger was the, the sauce there was no sauce there was no sauce they provide you know ketchup mustard 
and, at the table. and, and A1, yeah. which is like, come on, really? <laughs> uh, at, at the table, uh, but they don't put it on for you. And, you know, I don't really know what to say about that other than just like, you know, even fast food places like put sauces on your burger for you. Yeah. And I get that pe- different people like them, but like, you know, you're putting truffle mayo on some of these things, like just fucking sauce the burger yeah, for put me. put a little ketchup and mustard on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but, uh, Matt's burger came with, uh, which I don't even know, really know if you can call it a burger. It was a burger patty, but the baguette. It was a burger patty, and that was the extent of right. it. Right. Yeah. And the baguette was kind of cut like a burger bun, but not really. No. It turned out to be a small baguette that wasn't all that great with a weirdly shaped patty so that it fit the baguette. Yeah. Which, given our other issues with the patty being under seasoned and not awesomely seared right. just left it kind of awkward yeah in my opinion yeah I definitely think yeah. so yeah um the, the cheese was the best part of your burger honestly yeah it was, it was really, very good it was really good I mean brie is just like an awesome cheese mm-hmm. but when the burger patty I mean the, the burger should really come through as the strongest yeah. and when it's just not seasoned I think yours was definitely under seasoned more than mine yes and it certainly came through cause yeah right yeah, it, it, like the cheese was a stronger flavor than the actual burger, and that's just a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, in the name is baguette. You know, I guess it's the most I- identifiable, you know, I guess they're trying to, like, get across. It's French, so yeah. it's got mayonnaise and brie on it. Yeah, and Which arugula. I guess is what they're, yeah, exactly. So, I guess it's what they're doing. I, yeah. It wasn't very good arugula. It didn't really come through very much. It's I mean, like it really three should. pieces of it. Yeah, it was whatever. Yeah. Um, it looked like bagged arugula, whatever. Um, and the uh, the actual uh, the actual the brie was good, and the burger itself was just under seasoned, like everything else. It was it was way more under seasoned than mine. Um, but the baguette itself uh, could have been better, you know, like could have been a lot better. It, it's the identifiable factor of the burger. It's the thing that you're selling the burger on. It really should be better. Baguettes to me are, should need to be like crispy and crunchy oh and then just chewy on the inside like if you have um if you go to like lee's sandwiches or uh or even or even jimmy john's i think jimmy john's is a great (laughs) french baguette it's like my favorite part of their sandwiches and this place just didn't uh this place just didn't deliver with it it was it was it was telling when i cut it in half and the top of the baguette didn't like crumble and kind of pop and shoot like there was there was no crust to the top of the yeah if you can eat a baguette sandwich without getting crumbs everywhere there's a problem right exactly yeah it it seemed like it was steamed a little bit which you know i guess is going to happen a little bit because of you know it's on a burger and there's juices and stuff but still like the outside should stay pretty crumbly and and crackly so, yeah, the, so the burgers overall were just okay. And, just okay. And I don't think worth the price. Not worth um, the price. So, um, but the sides. We ended up going, all, all the burgers come with skinny fries. You know, I'm, I'm assuming in the style of, like, McDonald's or whatever. I which is just like. Yeah, I would assume. Maybe even thinner. We ended up go uh, changing those because, you know, fries are fine, but I'm pretty sure they make them in-house here. And. It's really hard to make in-house fries that are just, like, better than that fast good. food. Yeah. yeah, fast food fries are as good as they can be, basically. I mean, just the science makes it so they, they should be frozen. Yeah, I was going to say, they're better frozen. Right. Um, so we ended up getting uh, sweet potato fries and um, jalapeno What they onion called petal. onion, ha- jalapeno onion petals, yes. Right, which were basically just fried onion pieces. Yes, if you're familiar already with the onion petal, it was the onion petal and then like just a couple of sliced jalapenos in mozzarella stick breading. So a different breading than the petal. I definitely remember that breading. I used to get the onion rings here and the yeah. breading is very thick. That yeah, it's it's definitely like a frozen mozzarella stick. It has a little bit of herb in it. But they were cut like mini zucchini sticks, but it was weird. There was three of them scattered in and amongst onion too. petals. There were a lot of onion rings, or onion petals that a they gave us. A ton of onion it petals. A, it was a ton of, we couldn't finish them all. Yeah, it was very... I like the sweet potato fries. Name. They weren't the best I've ever had. I think I still think that Sporting Life does an in- Oh, such a better like uh, sandwich and fries than this place does. Absolutely, I mean, it's like my favorite sandwich in the valley. That 
steak sandwich is one to yeah. put up because it had similar to the baguette burger that has the the spinach and the bernay sauce and arugula you mean arugula yeah bernay sauce and a crispy onion and right if i could just basically change what i got today for the sporting life sandwich it would be really hard for me not to do that um i think that you know when you're getting to as close to basic an item as you can like a sandwich and fries it's really hard to like once you find one that you're really really happy with it's hard to like just basically swap it out for i mean that's why burger places you can almost find one that's going to be expressly better than all the other ones uh, according to your own you know likes and dislikes and in this case like you know the steak sandwich is just a better version of like what this place is trying to do yeah exactly now i would be interested maybe in having the sporting life burger itself Right. I, just right. based on what we've had there, I maybe can't I'm being unfair and saying I can't and comparing imagine. a steak sandwich with a burger. Right, but I just I just can't imagine because we're talking about right. like the the factors that went into it. Right, and and it's cheaper, and the sporting life yes. steak sandwich is cheaper than this, almost significantly. Um, I mean, you can glean all the information from the sauces, like the Bernays versus the the truffle mayonnaise here right like you can just tell that they make a really good sauce at sporting life right in here they just used a good ingredient and tried to pawn it off right well right. tasty they know what's going to sell yeah well tasty it was not a great version of something right. that can be yeah. fantastic right exactly i mean and i think you know everyone knows that truffles are like expensive and nice but you know a bernay is like how many people actually know like what bernay sauce is yeah. Maybe I'm yeah. just being snooty when I say that, but, like, Bernays isn't going to sell just by being on the menu. Just but, by saying it, but you say the word truffle and people right, buy people it. are like, oh, okay, that's hot right now. Let's yeah, do yeah. That. Um, so, yeah, I guess, uh, overall, it was fine. It was like a, it's a burger place that I would, you know, maybe recommend to people who are, you know, in from out of town and really want a burger place. I guess it's maybe top five top three burger places on the strip which isn't really saying a whole lot no it uh, doesn't say a lot yeah i mean the gordon yeah. the gordon ramsay place is like you know pretty similar quality and everything and everyone's obsessed with it i don't yeah. i don't get why pretty similar price point on the high end right yeah i mean this uh, uh like for me grand lux go there Get, right, like, hash house will go go. Get those burgers. Keep it under twenty dollars. Right, Grand Lux fifteen only. Right. So right, and the, the coming burger, on half the price. We got two of the cheapest burgers, really, Absolutely. and they were still fifteen. Yes, they were fifteen between fifteen and twenty, and there are a couple burgers on the menu that were like at least twenty to twenty five. Yes. Um. So if you get more than the very basic stuff, or make your own burger, it's almost certainly going to be over twenty dollars. Those make your own burgers add up quickly. Right. I noticed that ketchup was a charge. We got burger, which is weird because it was on that, the table. That is really weird. Maybe it's better ketchup if you mm, order maybe. it like that, like a or sriracha a, ketchup. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> like where they're taking two bottled ingredients and combining them. Yes, it costs money <laughs> to stir. Right. Oh, that was another thing. Uh, we were going to share. We shared part of our burger with each other, <laughs> and they said they told us there was a a charge for cutting our burgers for us. Yes, which is like if they cut the burger, oh my there would god, be a split charge fee, even though two people ordered two entrees. Right, exactly. Like, oh my god, that's such a that's such a pain. Yeah. Um, but overall, it's fine. I I'm not gonna necessarily say this is a must visit. Uh, I think that you could find way better value in the actual. Um, in the Las Vegas area. Um, yes. If you are starting from a middle of the strip location and are des you know, going out to eat, right. I would never suggest anyone came here. If right. you're on this side of the strip and you want a burger, pop in. Yeah, for sure. But I mean, if you're, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even recommend taking an Uber over here because at that point you could just go no, anywhere else. The second you get into a car and travel, yeah. you open up all the other options that right. we've kind of hinted at. Even if you just want already. burgers, Bocce is not that far away, and it's just such a. I mean, you'll you'll save money just because like it'll be significantly cheaper. You can cheaper pay for too. the Uber and right. get a better burger for right. cheaper than yeah. the burger costs here. Thirty dollars a piece for a subpar burger and fries. We didn't even like get appetizers or a. Milk 
milkshake or the milkshakes here are over ten dollars each. Jesus, like I understand, I, look at that. I understand yeah. the milk and ice cream were more expensive than they used to be, but that's still pretty <laughs> ridiculous. That's pretty absurd. Yeah. For, so for lunch, thirty dollars each. Not really. You know, if you got a cop maybe but it's not necessarily yeah. a uh if you're in the mandalay bay and you're hungry right it's cool. probably one of the better places to choose which is kind of sad because they used to have some really fantastic yeah. restaurants here um two or two of my favorite restaurants in the las vegas area were in this place and burger bar was up there yeah uh but it's possible that's just because you know my tastes have changed and i've been a lot more places but i don't really know thanks guys for checking us out um comment and subscribe if you can uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for further episodes. We're always looking for new places to go and try, so if you've got any ideas or suggestions for what to do for next episode, check us out. Uh, leave a comment below and uh, tell your friends. And if you ever uh, decide to come to Vegas, let me know on Twitter at JVFricky or at Jimmy Eats Vegas, and uh, I will help you plan any and all restaurant uh, excursions you might have uh, in store. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time.